Hello everybody. So this is a video explanation on how we're going to start our assignment for Wednesday on the Constitution DBQ. So we'll be working on this DBQ Wednesday, Friday, into Monday, maybe even to next Wednesday. We'll see how we go. So for now, let's get to the assignment, which again is on my website, not on Schoology. On my website, not on Schoology. So like I said, on my website, not on Schoology. So I've told you guys many times already where how to get to my website. And I told you to bookmark it so you could just click on it like I am and get there. You're going to scroll down and you're going to go to uh, schoolwork for this week, 824 through 828. When you get there, you should be able to see uh, all the days that we've been working on. Uh, Monday, we did the Cats and Dogs T4 assignment. There's the assignment. Uh, there's the explanation. There's a video explanation and so on. Uh, Tuesday, we had uh, Anachronous uh, Attendance Day. And you guys clicked on the attendance there. And it took you to the question, which was who's going to win the election, Biden or Trump. You guys answered with one response and did that for attendance. Today, Wednesday, is the Constitution DBQ. Tomorrow is an an another Anachronous Day. And there's the attendance for Thursday. You'll click on it. It's going to ask you the question, what's your favorite color? You put your one word response, hit submit, and you've taken attendance. But you must do it tomorrow on Thursday. And on Friday, like I said, we continue the Constitution DBQ. So for today, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to get the DBQ. So you're just simply going to click on it. You do not need to make a copy of it, though. All right, because you're not going to be actually writing on it. You're just going to be using it. Now, here is your Constitution DBQ. And in writing any DBQ, you, there is always a question. What is your essay going to be about? And yes, you guys are going to write an essay. So what is your DBQ going to be about? And the DBQ is going to be about the Constitution guarding against tyranny. So how did the Constitution guard against tyranny? In more simpler terms is, how did they avoid having a tyranny when they wrote the Constitution? Now, through the process of us analyzing, t foring you know, doing talking to the text, to the background essay, document A, B, C, and D, and doing all the questions, we're going to get to go get an idea of what was going on during the time when they were writing the Constitution. What is tyranny? Why is it bad? And how did they ultimately avoid it? How did they? What did they do in the Constitution to make sure there was no tyranny? To make sure we never had a tyrant. So in here, you're going to scroll down, and you can see there are your four documents. These four documents right here are the reasons or the answers to your question. So how did they avoid a tyranny? The answer is federalism, separation of powers, checks and balances, and big state, small state compromises, which we will go over. Then here's the background essay. You're going to do talking to the tech to this. And um, you're going to answer these six, five questions on the background essay. You're going to do talking to the text, both to the writing at the top and the charts, because the charts... If there is there ever anything in a DBQ, it's because they want you to analyze it. So you will do talking to the text for both the writing and the chart, and you'll answer the questions, do the ch both uh, uh, both different types of writing and the questions, the chart and the writing, and then there's just the writing and the questions. So you're going to do all this in the next week, all right? And we're going to analyze and discuss this stuff to make sure you guys understand what's going on, what happened. All right, so this is your DBQ. Now, going back to the assignment, where are you going to do the talking to the text comments and answer the questions if you can't write on the actual constitution? And that is right here, the DBQ Google answer sheet. And this one, you will make a copy of it and you will um, and you will title it first name, last name, period, whatever you are, DBQ Google. So what I do is I would just go and take this, hit copy, and then I'm going to click on the document. Then we are going to make a copy of it. And then here, what do you want to call it? I'd paste the stuff that I said before. And then here, I would replace it with my actual first name and last name, and then whatever period I'm in. So you would put your first and last name, period one, three, four, five, six, and it's already the DBQ, and then you hit OK. All right? And you do not have to share this with me. You do not have to share this with me. You do not have to share with this with me. So this one, you do not have to share. The reason why I had to share the other ones is because I needed to see your T4 comments. You're not going to write T4 comments by like adding the plus here. You're going to write the T4 comments here of the DBQ essay. So, I mean, of the DBQ packet. So I do still need you to go to share, and I still need you to change it from restricted to anyone with the link, and then hit done. All right, so don't share it, but do change it from restriction to anyone with a link. Now, what that means now is you're going to T4 here, the background essay, 
you know, there's see, it says the background essay right here. You're going to read it, and as you're reading it here, you're going to write T4 comments here. You see, T4 entries for the background essay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you read these paragraphs here about the background essay, basically this paints a picture of what's going on in the era. So as you read this stuff, you're going to write T4 comments here. You're going to write eight of them. All right, then based on what you read, you should be able to answer these questions. Now, obviously, you can't answer the question here. So in what city and in which year was the Constitution written? Here, instead of writing it here, you're going to go to your document, and you're going to see questions for the background essay. Background essay questions. Question one. Here you put the answer to that. So when you go to push number two, number two, you go back to your document, and you put it number two. All right. So your homework is going to be the background essay T4ing, eight comments, and those five questions, and T4ing of document A and those five questions here. All right, so there's the eight back T4 comments, the five questions, the five T4 comments, and the five questions. That is what is due on Friday.